Hi guys! Welcome once again to another episode of Mr. Zhang Vlogs. This video will help us learn how to use this LTM model as an additional Wi-Fi access point for your existing network. Basically, this modem will connect and utilize your existing internet service provider. There are no additional charges aside from the electricity when we use this method. We don't buy a SIM card for this modem. We don't need to. All we need to do is to power up this modem and mess with it. It will take a while for the operating system or, a, or the firmware inside this modem to load up. When all lights lit up, it indicates that the modem has just restarted and is now booting up. This modem requires 12 volts 2 ampere power adapter. As you can see, there is no SIM card attached to our modem. The system is now up and running, but I no longer remember my old username and password. So to save our time from possible trial and error, it is faster to reset this modem from factory settings. A quick Google search will reveal the default username and password of this modem. It will take a while, so I will be answering some questions that you might have in your mind. First question, do I need to buy a SIM card for this modem? No. Is it possible to connect my wired or wireless printer to this modem? Yes. Is it possible for the computers connected to my existing network to access my printer attached to this modem? Yes. Is it possible to use port forwarding to the servers connected to this modem? Yes. Will the file sharing works? Yes. Technically, all computers and phones connected to its Wi-Fi and LAN ports are bridged to your existing network. The modem will only work as a switch or a hub with wireless capabilities. There's no routing, there's no NAT, and you cannot use your ISP's additional public IP addresses with this modem. Now, let's connect our modem to our existing network. You may use any of the available LAN ports on your modem. You have to use LAN cables as this modem can connect to an existing Wi-Fi network. We can now see our new Wi-Fi access point. The default password is printed at the back of the modem. We are now connected to our modem, but there's no internet yet. The reason is the modem is still trying to get an internet access from the LTE network. We still need to reconfigure our modem to get internet access. At this point, we need to get the IP of our modem. Since it has its own DHCP server enabled by default, our network configurations are automatically configured. The IP of the modem is the default gateway. Basically, we will trick the modem into operating in bridge mode. Let's point our browser to the IP we got from the default gateway. In my case, it is 192.168.254.254. If everything works fine, the page will look like this. Obviously, we need to log in first before we can mess up with it. The default usernames and passwords are depending on the service provider who provided your modem. A quick Google search will reveal the default username and password. Let's change our Wi-Fi name or SSID by clicking on the Wi-Fi tab. This tab will also allow you to set your own Wi-Fi password. Click on the Submit button once you are done. The Wi-Fi module is now restarting. This will take a short while. This error message indicates that the Wi-Fi name has been changed. We will need to connect to our new Wi-Fi network. Enter your password and click Connect. Once connected, let's go back to our Routers page, enter your username and password, and change our admin password by clicking on the System tab. Click on the submit button once you're done. 
Now that our network and router are secured, it is now time to enable the bridge mode by doing this simple trick. Click on LAN and manually set your IP address. The IP should be in the same range as your current network. Otherwise, your computer won't be able to connect to the internet. It is best practice to have a single DHCP server on your network. So better disable this one. This will avoid any conflicts. Click on the submit button when done. The DHCP module will restart once again. This error message indicates that we have been disconnected from our Wi-Fi network. Let's connect and access the internet now. Hope it helps and please consider subscribing.